Takashi motherfucking six nine. So Takashi six nine, as we all knew, is causing some waves again, right? Takashi six nine just announced that he is going to be going live on Friday at three p.m. Right? There was about eighty thousand comments in his on his um Instagram post. People are going to be tuned in, all right? I'm going to tune in. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be right there. My little Starbucks coffee. I'm going to be listening. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to see what he has to say. Um, Takashi is a polarizing figure because there are so many people that hate him for what he did, but there are so many people that simply don't give a fuck about street shit, and they think that he is justified in what he did because of what these people were doing behind his back. Okay, there are many people that say, you know, he took all these people down. He put all these people in jail. But to be fair, he definitely assisted in that. But there was another co-defendant who really put the, put the, you know, put the work in to get these people locked up. There was another guy by the name of Chris who was really the one that he was uh, undercover. He was in there doing all types of shit. And it was really in large part because of Chris that these guys went down. Takashi just, he just supported that. Um, but, you know, he, Takashi wasn't a shot caller really. I mean, he was calling shots, but it was because he had money. But people had other intentions. They didn't really look to him and say, oh, we're scared of him. Like, this is our godfather. Like, he's the bag. We're going to play this nigga. Like, we're going to get, you know what I mean? We're going to get some bread from him, whatever. Um, and make him feel like, you know, we got his back. Make him feel big. That's what it was. All right? Not taking sides on this. I'm just calling it how I see it. Um, so, it's interesting that he's going to go live. All right. And I think that it's taken some time for him to go live because he's had to get permission to do this. Um, I think there, there may have possibly been some stipulations like upon his release, like you can't go on live. You can't go start in trouble. You can't be on social media like that. Cause technically if it wasn't for the Corona, you know, for the Corona, he would still be locked up. So he's on house arrest. It's kind of like he's still an inmate. Um, but being that he's out there going to loosen up as time goes on, they will loosen up these restrictions. Okay. So according to the blast, all right. Um, they apparently they got a hold of some court documents where the judge ordered that he can shoot videos in his backyard one day out of the week for up to two hours. So very, very strict, um, conditions that he is on. Uh, he can't even be in his yard for more than two hours to record a video one day a week. Okay. Um, another one that was really interesting is that he can be in his basement, but he can be there for no, no more than eight hours per day. Because when you're in a basement, it's kind of like when you have your cell phone and when you have your cell phone and, um, that was my case. It was empty. But when you have your cell phone, you and you're in the basement, like your reception isn't as good. So it's the same thing with like the signaling for the uh, ankle bracelet that he has, the GPS device that he has. It can interfere with that signaling. So he cannot be in the basement for more than eight hours. So obviously, if he goes to the basement, the GPS is working just fine when he's on the main floor. Um, and then it'll see that he is going into the basement because it's tracking him. And so if he's down there and he loses signal for eight hours, they'll know pretty much that he's down there unless he found a way to take it off and like, disip, like dip out the house, dip out the basement and come back and put it on in eight hours. But I don't think he's doing that. I think he's under heavy surveillance. I don't think he's stupid enough to try to dip. Um, but so, and then after the eight hours is up, he'll go back upstairs. They'll see that, you know, he's still in the house or whatever the case. So that's pretty interesting um, that they were that specific and that, uh, um, you know, they were micromanaging his, um, even the time in his house and, and what part of the house that he's in to a T, you know? So I thought that that was pretty interesting. So pretty much they're not like 
being lenient with him in regards to him being on home confinement at all. And not right now. Like I said, with time, that'll loosen up. I know he was uh, due to come out in August. So I'm assuming that in August, he would just go on regular like probation um, conditions at that point. Um, but, you know, we'll see how this goes. Okay. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be tuning in? on his live on Friday. Will you be watching? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on Sakashi 69? I know he's working on some music they said. Um, and so I'm sure he's going to start doing his promo thing right now, making his rounds, probably trolling. If you guys didn't see, he was on the shade room after the shade room picked up his post. He went underneath and said, he warned everyone, be careful what you say because the feds are watching bruh. <laughs> This motherfucker is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. He's funny as shit. He is entertaining. Um, say, say whatever you want, but the kid is entertaining. Like this is, you know, it's kind of hard not to watch. So let me know. Are you going to be watching? Are you going to be there? Are y'all going to tune in? Are you looking forward to his new music? I think, you know, his demographic is a younger demographic. I did enjoy his music though, too. Um, but I'm very versatile. I like everything. So let me know your thoughts on that. All right, you guys. I am out. Stay positive. Stay safe. Um, stay corona free. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like this video. I'm out.